Hello! We are Silver and we are about to show you how to use our InNote scheduling service. We will start with our web application to carry out the planning stage and then we will switch to the mobile app to finalize the commissioning on site. So first, the planning stage. As you can see, we have an empty floor plan here, so we will do everything from the beginning. We have this small meeting room with just a couple of luminaires and we want to put these luminaires on schedule. Let's start by creating a new zone. We have the name, now let's assign a profile. We will need to create a new profile because we want to specify the scenes that will be triggered at desired times. We enter the name, let's say office schedule, and we must choose the multiple scenes slash scheduling scenario to use the scheduling feature. Now it's time to customize our new profile. We will leave default values for low, high and trim and the power up behavior and just focus on the scenes. For each zone we can configure up to four different scenes. Let's go with a simple office scheduling scenario. We will try to schedule a scene for business hours and another scene for cleaning or maintenance operations. So first, business hours. We need a name here, a descriptive name is always a good idea, so let's just call it business hours. And let's have the luminaires at full output during that time. We can also add occupancy or daylight based automation to any of our scenes, but for the sake of clarity we will focus on the process itself and assume there are no sensors involved. So I'm leaving these boxes empty. On to the second scene. I will call it maintenance. Let's say 40% luminar output is what we need here. Since we don't have any occupancy-based automation, we will need to add one more scene, because we want the luminaires to turn off at some point. So let's simply call this scene off, set the light level at 0% and we're done. Our profile is now ready. We can save it and apply to as many zones as we want. So, if we want exactly the same scenes to be triggered in other spaces, the only thing we need to do is assign this new profile without even going into its configuration. If different scenes or settings are needed, a new profile must be created. So now that we have a profile configured, we need to set up scheduling events. These are the events that will trigger the scenes specified in the profile. Let's go to the scheduling section and create a new time event. Okay, so we have some old time events here. I'm gonna remove them quickly. All right. Let's create a new time event. We are not using any gateways, so we choose in node scheduling. And we need a name <clears throat> for our event. Let's call it morning. Now we need to find our profile in the list and choose a scene we want to trigger with this event. This is our profile, this is the scene we are looking for. This scene will be triggered in every zone that uses the selected profile. When choosing the scene, all relevant profiles will be highlighted on the floor, on the floor plan. So you can see that our zone is also highlighted here. We choose the scene and adjust the pay time. Now let's have the business hours kick in on every working day at precisely 8 a.m. This is the local project time. We can save our first event. Now we want to add another time event that will trigger the maintenance scene at let's say 6 p.m. So let's set it all up accordingly. Let's call it evening. 
sin sin and again every working day and this time 6 p.m. And finally, we want to add one more event that will, that will turn the luminaires off at 8 p.m. Let's call it night. Scene is off. Eight PM. Now this was a pretty straightforward example, but you can configure up to 16 time events per zone or profile. So this gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you can do with these schedules. For example, you can have completely different schedules for each day of the week. Mm, so now we have the profile, we have the scenes, we have the events. This means we are almost done. The last thing we need to do is upload all these settings into the Luminaires. So let's go on site and switch to the mobile app. So we are in the mobile app and we simply have to finalize the commissioning process the way it is always done. We have to open our project, walk into the meeting room and simply add devices to the network. So let's try to do it very quickly. Here we go. We can start adding the devices. Another one. And the last one. Now we have to wait for for a bit. This will not take much longer. And uh, once the process is finished, the luminaires are fully configured and ready to implement defined schedules. They also know the current time as it was injected into the network during the final stage of the commissioning process. So as soon as the next time event kicks in, Devices, luminaires will start operating in accordance with the schedule. So we can see that all of the devices have been added. Our work is done. There is one last thing you should be aware of when it comes to the mobile app. When you navigate to the list of projects, you will find this time sync button right here. that allows you to synchronize the time in network nodes with your local project time. Time is automatically synchronized during the commissioning, but you might need to use this button later on if it gets desynchronized, for example following a network-wide power outage or to offset the time drift that has accumulated over longer periods of time. Also, you will need to synchronize the time at least twice a year to adjust for daylight savings time. In the future, DST adjustments will be automatic, but for now, this has to be done manually. So whenever there is a need to synchronize time, just click the button Sync Time, and the current time will, will be injected into the network again. Of course, the Time Sync button works only if you are on-site and connected to the lighting control system through the mobile app. You will also have to use the mobile app on site to reconfigure the network if any changes are introduced to your schedules in the web app. If you want to know more about how the system manages time synchronization and how to ensure the highest precision of the scheduling service, have a look at our scheduling documentation and FAQ document. Thanks for watching.